Father, we bless you. Father, we glorify you. You are God all by yourself. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, presence. And all the other men, take your place. Take your place. Take your, take your place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. And indeed, he is good all the times. Somebody just shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just type it out and say hallelujah. Praise the Lord with me tonight. Type out and say hallelujah. Shout aloud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are blessed or shout and Lina, Mero, uh, Prophet Esconi, God bless you. Thank you for coming online. I appreciate you joining in tonight. May the Lord bless you and everyone who is on Facebook. May the Lord bless you. I appreciate your coming in. Uh, all the women on the threshing floor from all the branches. May the Lord bless you. You are welcome, ordinators. May the Lord bless you. You are welcome. And I'm joined tonight by Apostle Hallelujah and the children. I also just want to appreciate them tonight. These are people I don't take for granted and I just want to thank God for them. They make it easy for me to come and sit here and minister to you. So I give God all the glory, all our children in the Lord. May the Lord bless you. You are all welcome online. Hallelujah. You know, once the Holy Spirit steps in, you need to, <laughs> I need to, to find some balance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This is, this is the genesis of this month. Hallelujah. This is the genesis of this new month, our month of the Holy Spirit and power. Mm. It's our month of the Holy Spirit and power. And I am I'm excited and, and I believe that you are excited as well. 
and and as we kick off with with this new month the agenda on threshing floor remains the same this is the place of separation the lord takes away everything that is not meant to hang on as a thresh kaya basanda at times we cry yes at times times we love and it's all of it is how god is taking away everything that is not part of our lives as we thresh separation is taking place and this is the place of judgment hallelujah i declare once again every stubborn enemy will be judged by god as we thresh in the mighty name of jesus and we shall end today in victory in the mighty name of jesus and this is the place of worship we worship god in spirit and we worship so thank you one who is online tonight may lord please get your bibles please get your note and please get your pens and let's get into the word of god hallelujah our theme script is taken from the book of Acts chapter 1, verses 4 to 8. Acts chapter 1, verses 4 to 8, and the emphasis is on verse 8. But I want to read from verse 4 to 8 so that we get the, the, the gist of the story. Hallelujah. The Bible reads, On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. Verse 5 says, For John baptized with water, but in few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Verse 6 says, Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? And the Lord said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the dates the Father has set by his own authority. Verse 8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and the ends of of the earth hallelujah you will be my witnesses you will be my witnesses hallelujah you will be my witnesses in judea and samaria and the outskirts says the lord i want to read this aid again but you will is power when the holy, the holy spirit, spirit comes on, on you, you. And you will you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem. You, you will, will be, be my, witnesses my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem and in all Judea and, and Samaria, Samaria and, and to the end of, of it. The hallelujah. 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 Father, we just, Father, want, we to just want to give you all the glory and all the honor and all the adoration. Father, I pray that you'll bless the reading of your word and I pray, Lord God, that salvation will take, will take place tonight. Let healing take place tonight. Father, I pray that deliverance will take place tonight and I pray that you will take it of the atmosphere. I pray over the network tonight from every home that is represented tonight i pray that every home shall be an open heaven and that the spirit of the living god will be free to move in the mighty name of jesus father we declare tonight that once you are done doing what only you can do father we give you all the glory for it belongs to you and you and we have prayed amen and amen and amen hallelujah i hope you can hear me clearly if you can hear me please just type an amen so that i know you can hear me and you can see me hallelujah may the lord bless you as you do so the message tonight is entitled the capacity to receive the message is entitled the capacity to receive hallelujah the capacity to receive now we had an awesome face-to-face -face meeting end of april on 
the theme of, of the month of April that said, it's a new dawn, it's a new dawn. And I said during the meeting that the fact that the month of April came to an end does not mean that the declaration has become powerless. I want to repeat that again. The fact that the month of April came to an end does not mean that the declaration has became has become powerless. No, no, no. We have entered into a zone of unfair advantage. I want to repeat, we have entered into a zone of unfair advantage, and we will stay there and reap from it in the name of Jesus. We have entered into a zone of unfair advantage. I pity the people who will stand or sit in an interview with us. I pity the people who will bid for 10 minutes together with us because we have entered into a zone of unfair advantage where the Lord will favor us above everyone else. That is what the Lord has said. So just because the month has ended does not mean that that declaration has become powerless. That declaration stands and we have entered into that zone and that is where we will remain hallelujah and so the lord brought us by his grace into this month the month of may and he said this is the month of the holy spirit and power this is the month of the holy spirit and power and the and the theme scripture says but you will receive power when the holy spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Now, it is a definite statement. You will receive power. Not you might receive, not you may receive. It says, you will receive power. In the New King James Version, it says, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So it means for the power to come on you, the Holy Spirit needs to come upon you. Before you receive the power, the Holy Spirit needs to come upon you any power without the holy spirit is fake <laughs> any power without the holy spirit is fake and the message is entitled i said the capacity to receive now we know the scripture is older than all of us here online the scripture came into fulfillment and yes the Holy Spirit was re was released and the power is available. The Holy Spirit, for those of you who might ask, is the third person in the Godhead. Jesus said of this Holy Spirit that we are talking about in the book of John chapter 14, verse 16, Jesus said, and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of truth. So the Holy Spirit is our helper. The Holy Spirit is our comforter. The Holy Spirit is our guide. The Holy Spirit is our advocate. He is the one that convicts us if we are turning in the wrong direction. Hallelujah. And God availed the Holy Spirit for every one of his children to help them in the areas of all their lives. Hallelujah. However, the question remains to be answered by you and you alone. Have you received the Holy Spirit? And have you received the power? And if you say tonight, the Holy Spirit came upon me and I received the power, then another question that needs to be answered by you and you alone is, what are the evidences in your life that you have received the Holy Spirit? What are the evidences in your life that you have received the power? Because the Bible says you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So if you confirm in your life and say, the Holy Spirit came upon me and I received the power, then the question that you need to answer tonight 
hallelujah, is what are the evidences that you have received the Holy Spirit and that you have the power? This month is known as the month of the Holy Spirit and power. What does it mean? What does it mean that the Lord is telling us this month that it is the month of the Holy Spirit and power? Let me help someone quickly. This year is known as the year on the women on the threshing floor as the year of progress. That is where we started in the months of January and February. We, with The Lord laid a solid foundation on the year of progress. And then when we moved over in the month of March, the Lord said, receive wisdom. The Lord gave us wisdom to walk in this year of progress. And then the Lord launched us into a new dimension, into the month that just ended in, in April. And individually and corporately, he said, it's the new dawn. It's not business as usual. Things are available for you and you need to act. That is what the Lord told us last month. And now he says to us, I am making, as I'm making roads in the wilderness and as I'm making rivers in the desert, you need the Holy Spirit and you need the power to operate in the season. He says, it is not something that I will give to you in the future. It is not something that I'm still keeping with me. The Lord says, I have given it to you already. It is freely available to anyone who has the capacity to receive. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is available. The power is available for everyone and everyone who has the capacity to receive. Now, what is your capacity tonight, women of God online? What is your capacity tonight, men of God online? What is your capacity to receive? Do you have the capacity to receive? Now, let me explain to you this way. Day one of the first month is always where we lay the foundation so that we have a revelation of what the month is all about. Now, I want to lay a foundation of what this month is all about, uh, all about add to what I explained in, in, uh, as we started. Now, the Holy Spirit can be likened to rain. Rain that is falling. And the rain falls everywhere. Now it depends on every single individual as to how much of the rain water from the falling rain he or she collects. When you walk out in the rain, you can decide whether you just want to stand in the rain and get wet, or you can decide whether you want to take a cup of water and get some of the water, or you can decide I want to go out and come out with tons and pick and, and collect as much water as I want. It depends completely on you. Now, how much of the rain water you collect and how much you allow that water to affect your life is the Holy Spirit and the power operating in your life. I hope, I, 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 I hope I've got someone who understands what I'm trying to explain. When you walk out into the water and you stand in the water and you decide, I just don't want to get wet, but I want to collect from this water. When the Holy Spirit comes down, it depends on you whether you just want to collect a bit, whether you just want to get wet, whether you just want to take a, a gallon and collect as much as possible. It depends on you. Now, someone can carry a loaded gun and not know what to do with it. That person is as good as the person without a gun. Somebody can carry an AK-47. It is useless if you don't know how to pull the trigger. It is useless if you don't know how to make use of it. If you don't know how to pull the trigger, having a gun, you are as good as someone who doesn't have a gun. When it comes to the moment of action, can I repeat that one for someone? If you carry a loaded gun and you don't know how to pull the trigger, when it comes to the moment of action, you are as good as someone who does not have a gun. So we have received the Holy Spirit and we have received power. You need to ask yourself tonight, how much, how much of the Holy Spirit do I allow to operate 
in my life because this is the man of the Holy Spirit and power. So I want you to ask yourself in the comfort of your house, how much of the Holy Spirit that was released freely, how much of the power of God that was released freely is operating in my life? I want you to ask yourself tonight, what is my power level? Mazuka Namahanda. What is my power level? You see, a battery can be called a battery. Every battery can be called a battery. But a battery can be flat, it can be fully charged, or it can be dead. How will you know that? You will know the level of a battery when it is time for action. <laughs> You will know the level where the battery is when it is time for action. And now I can declare to you, women of God, we have entered into a season of action. This is time for action. This is showtime. And the Lord said last month, it is a new dawn. It's a new season of possibilities. You cannot afford to be a flat battery. You cannot afford to be a dead battery in the kingdom of God. You need to be fully charged. You need to be fully ready. You need to be fully charged in the kingdom of God. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. The question is, is the Holy Spirit functioning at its full capacity in your life? Can you speak in tongues, women of God, and receive revelations of what's happening around you? Can you enter into a space and change the atmosphere? What is your capacity? Have you received the Holy Spirit? And when you have received it, what is the function of the Holy Spirit in your life? I hope somebody online is getting challenged already. You see, there are powers that are challenging Christians in this day and age. There are powers that have been specifically released in this season that we are, attacking the Christians. The latest is that the Christian marriages are under severe attack, Kayaba Sanda. The, the, the Christian marriages are under severe attack, and you need to be feel full of the Holy Spirit and power to tell the devil, not here, not here. You are not permitted here. You are not allowed here. But you can't do that if the Holy Spirit in you is still asleep. You need to be at the full level. That the Holy Spirit needs to function at full capacity for you to be able to tell the devil, not here. Another attack is on the children. The children are going through serious attacks in the season that we are. And you need to be you need to be full of the Holy Spirit and power to tell the children, to tell the devil, not here, not my children, not my children. Whatever you do, not my children. Now, if your children, women of God, listen to me. If your children, if your children are still living home without you praying for them, without you laying hands on them in the morning, then my sister, you need a recharge. If your children are still going up and down and you don't know where they are, if your children are still visiting homes and you don't know which homes they are, my sister, then you need a recharge. When you say to your children every morning, it's okay, you can go to school. When your children are leaving home, you, you say, it's okay, you can just go out. It is not permitted in the season. You cannot enter your office and just start working in the season without inviting the Holy Spirit, not in the season. That is the season of action. That is the season where you need to manifest who you are. Mazuka na mahanda bakariande. That is the season where you need to operate at the full capacity of the Holy Spirit in your life. This is the season where you need to remain charged up in the name of Jesus. This is the time for kings, daughters, speaking in tongues with heels on their feet. Mazuta na bakaya. This is the time for kings, daughters. Casting out demons with proper money care and petty care. It is not a sin, but it is a sin when you only have the money care and the petty care and the Brazilian hair without tongues, without the power, without the Holy Spirit. That is the time for kings, daughters, 
to arise in power, to arise in the spirit of the living God, and to declare the things that are not as though they are. This is the times of kings' daughters to rise up in their offices and to speak the word of God without any fear. There needs to be a difference. This is the year of progress. This is the year where we become more like Jesus. Every day, this is the day, this is the year where we are striving to become more like Jesus. Where are the king's daughters online tonight? I hope I've got some king's daughters online tonight. Hallelujah. I hope I've got some women online who are saying, this is the year of progress for me. This is the year where I want to do the will of God. This is the year where I want to obey the word of God. This is the year where I want to walk out in full obedience in the name of Jesus. And if you need a recharge, be honest and type it out and say, so help me God. So help me God. Hallelujah. That's why we are here. If you need a recharge, like I say, if your children are still going in and out of your house, you don't even know where they are tonight. You have not prayed for them when they left the house. Then you need a recharge. And I want you to be honest tonight and say, so help me, Lord. I am not coming here online just to, uh, to, uh, at all, at all to entertain you. I'm not coming here online, hallelujah, to speak what you want to hear. But I'm coming online with the word of God. And my mandate, my mandate is to frustrate you into your calling, if I can put it that way. My mandate, women of God, is to frustrate you into your calling. It is to pull you out of complacency and to push you into your purpose. My mandate, Kayaba Santa Makayande, every Friday night when I come out, is to awaken something in one woman, is to awaken something in a woman, a woman who is sitting there comfortable, a woman who is sitting there complacent, to rise up and to say, I will move into my purpose, to rise up and say, I will move into my calling in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the Lord gives us the desires of our hearts. I don't want you to miss the moment. I don't want you to make use of this. I don't want you to, to, to miss this moment, but I want you to make use of this moment to shake off the dust, to shake off the dust, to shake off the complacency, to shake off the comfort and say, I am arising. Lord, I need a recharge. Lord, I need a recharge in my prayer life. Lord, I need a recharge in my worship. Lord, I need a recharge in the way I serve you. Mazuta Nabakariade. And winter is coming upon us. You dare not enter this winter in the spirit that you are. Mazuta Nabakariande. I don't know where you are, but the Lord sent me with the word. You need to have the capacity to receive because the Holy Spirit has been given to us freely and the power has been released to us freely. But the Lord is looking around for a man. The Lord is looking around for a woman. He wants to show himself mighty. The Lord is looking around for a woman. He wants to show himself mighty. He wants to do his miracles. But the Lord is saying, some batteries are dead. There needs to be a recharge. Somebody begin to pray already for yourself. I want you to ask the Holy Spirit for a recharge. I want, to, I want you to ask the Holy Spirit to baptize you afresh. God gives us his spirit without measure. If you ask, he will give it to you. You need a deep feeling. I know there is someone online tonight. The Lord does not gather his people to waste his time. I know there is someone online tonight. You are tired in your spirit. You are tired even serving God. You are tired to serve. You are tired to pray. You are tired to worship. All you do is wake up, say a two-minute prayer, and you sleep. Hallelujah. All you do is wake up. You don't even read the scripture. And the Lord has sent me here to tell you, you need the capacity to receive because the Lord in this month is pouring out afresh his Holy Spirit. The Lord is releasing afresh his Holy Spirit and power. And he is saying to you, woman, you need to be recharged. I hope somebody has started praying already. I hope somebody has started praying already. Asking for an infilling. Asking for a recharge. Asking for an infilling. Oh yes, I can pick it up in my spirit. Some tanks are empty. And you know who you are. Some tanks are lying flat. Some tanks are empty. Your cars are not moving. And I mean your spiritual cars. I mean your spiritual life are parked somewhere because the well is not there. Back in the days, you would stay up night all by yourself. Back in the days, you would pray up all night, all by yourself, not waking on the church, not waiting on the church. But today, you, you have become the push me, I go. 
Ah, I can only move on if I push. And the Holy Spirit sent me to you to say, there is an infilling available. There is an infilling available. All you need to say is, Lord, I need an infilling. My devil sat up at higher. Wherever you are, can you just lift up your hands and say, Lord, I need an infilling. I need an infilling. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands. Allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you tonight. And Satabakari and Kosanda. It's the month of the Holy Spirit and power. It is freely available. It is freely available. The Holy Spirit is pouring out. The Holy Spirit is pouring out. It's raining all around you. But this is the time when you need to say, Lord, I need your Holy Spirit for myself. I can see the people burning around me. I can see the people on fire around me. But Holy Spirit, I need the fire myself. Holy Spirit, I need the infilling myself. I want to pray again. I want to pray again. I want to fast again. I want to fast again. And they were satan attire. Ask the Lord for an infilling. You can't afford to be low. Not in this season. It's too dangerous. You can't afford to be lukewarm. Not in this season. It's too dangerous. Once upon a time, that shall not be your portion. Once upon a time, I used to. That can't be your portion. Not in this season. Not in this season. You need to arise. Black in tonight, women of God. Black in tonight like never before. The Holy Spirit is available. God is raising women who are fearless in their purpose. Masuta Bakaya. Be part of those women. Be part of those women. And pluck in tonight and say, Lord, I need a refreshing. I need a refreshing. Oh, you used to drink clear. <laughs> you know the story today. The Lord is saying it's available. His Holy Spirit is available. The power is available. The power is available. Do you have the capacity to receive? Do you have the capacity to receive? Do you have the capacity, the hunger to receive? Oh, I hope I've got someone online who agrees with what the Lord wants to do in our midst. I hope I've got a woman online who is hungry and thirsty for the Holy Spirit. I hope I've got a woman online who says, Lord, fill me up. Fill me up, fill me up till I overflow. I hope I've got a woman who says, Lord, I need a new dimension in the way I speak tongues. I hope I've got a woman online who says, Lord, I need to pray different. And they both sat up a Go ahead, women of God, and pray, 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 pray. Ask the Holy Spirit tonight, it's available. Let the rivers flow. And they both sat up a carrier, Ah. Let the rivers flow. And they both sat up a kaya. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Flow, my babies, according to your word. Let the rivers flow. Father, let the rivers flow. Lord, flow, my babies. According to your word, Father, let the rivers flow. And they will satan. Fill us, fill us till we overflow. Lord, flow, my babies. According to your word. I hope I've got a hungry woman online that says, Lord, fill me up. Fill me up till I overflow. A woman that says, Lord, enlarge my capacity. Enlarge my capacity to receive. I want to receive more. Say, Lord, in the past season, I came out to the threshing floor with the cup. Tonight, Lord God, I need an overflow. I need an overflow. I need an overflow. Reba Shanda Makoriadim. According to your word, Father, let the rivers flow. Let the rivers flow, Lord, flow, my babies, according to your word. Father, let the rivers flow. Woman of God, now I want you to pray and say, Father, take away everything that hinders my flow. 
Say, Lord, take away everything that hinders my flow in the spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, take away. Take away everything that hinders my flow. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Anything that blocks your flow in the spirit, anything that hinders you, anything that hinders your flow in the spirit, the spirit of slumber. For some of you, it is the spirit of slumber, the sleep, the, the, the appetite for sleep, and there was Satan, the unusual appetite for sleep that you cannot even wake up. Ask the Holy Spirit to remove. For some of you, it's overeating. You eat in, that, in such a way that the body is heavy to stand up. Somebody needs to pray and say, Lord, take away everything that hinders my flow. For some of you, is staying up late on Facebook, staying up late on WhatsApp, getting too tired to pray. You, you know yourself, you know yourself. You are staying up late just to check people's status updates, just to check status updates on, on Facebook. You need to say, Lord, take away. Take away everything that hinders me. Uh, I want the I, I want in feeling. I want to receive a fresh tonight. I want to flow unhindered. I want to flow unhindered in the spirit. Go ahead, women of God, and pray for yourself tonight. For some of you, it's that phone. It is that phone, that phone that has become a hindrance. That phone that you cannot even take away during church service. You sit and you chat on the phone. It is that phone. That is that stumbling block for you to flow in the Holy Spirit. Some of you, you need to buy a hard copy Bible. <laughs> You need to buy a hard copy Bible because the Bible app is not doing it for you. For you to avoid temptations when you are in the presence of the Lord, you need to get yourself a hard copy Bible so that you can switch off your phone when God is speaking to you. I know the Holy Spirit is speaking to someone tonight. Oh, pray for yourself. Say, Lord, take away everything that hinders me. Take away everything that hinders my flow in the spirit. And the most satava karia debe kerebe sanda. Era talaba korea debe kerebe bebe shatabakaya. Irabakande raba korea basanda raba korea basanda. Ele kerebe bebe 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 and if you can pray in tongues, wherever you are, just lift up your hands. The Spirit of the Lord is available. Wherever you are, if you still cannot speak in tongues, I want you to, by faith, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Spirit. Just open your mouth by faith and just speak. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the infilling. Receive the Holy Ghost now. Go ahead and speak in tongues. Go ahead, open your mouth. Open your mouth. The Holy Spirit is available. Holy Spirit, baptize. 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 Even if you can speak in tongues, just lift up your hands and say, Lord, fill me up, fill me up, fill me up. This is the month of the Spirit. This is the month of the Spirit and power. It can be business as usual. And Yes, the Spirit of the Lord is baptizing people. The Spirit of the Lord is baptizing people. The Spirit of the Lord is filling. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you are doing, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the Bakoria Basanda, in the Bakoro Bosoto, in the Rebekeria, in the Bakoria Basanda. I see a woman sitting on her knees and she's praying, Karabasanda. And the Lord says to you tonight, because you have bowed down at my feet, I will make you to stand in front of kings. I don't know who you are, but you are sitting on your knees, praying in the Holy Ghost. And the Lord says, I should tell you, because you have humbled yourself at my feet, I will raise you up to stand in front of kings. That's a word for you tonight, women of God. And therefore, Sanda. Because you have humbled yourself at the feet of Jesus, He's raising you up to stand in front of kings. And tonight I rebuke every spirit of sickness. I rebuke every spirit of sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke that headache in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke that headache. I rebuke that chest pain. Lay your hands on your chest. Whoever it is that is experiencing that chest pain, I rebuke that chest pain in the mighty name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. No more shall it come back to you. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I bring peace in your family. I bring peace in your family. I bring peace in your marriage. I bring peace in the name of Jesus. I speak that peace. I speak that peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. Your marriage is healed. Your family is healed. Your finances are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. By the Holy Spirit and power. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Father, we, bless you. Father, we honor you for that which you are busy doing. We bless you, O Lord of God, for that which you are busy doing. Move amongst us tonight like never before. Touch your daughter. Daughters, Lord, touch your daughters, touch your daughters tonight, Lord. Touch and transform. Ah, Ria Casota, Ria Casen de Rebeke and the Wosot. Ah, man, the Bacariba suit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That they must set up a car. Tonight I want to pray for someone who says, I've not yet given my life to the Lord, but tonight I want to surrender my life to the Lord. Or someone who says, I, I gave him once, but then I took back my life into my hands. I've made decisions that I'm not proud of, but I just want to come back to the King of Kings. If you are there tonight, just lift up your hands as we pray. Say, Father, I surrender my life to you. Say, Jesus, I believe you died and you rose again. Say, Jesus, forgive me. Forgive me all my sins and all my trespasses. Say, Jesus, today I confess that you are Lord. Say, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Now and forever. Say, from now onwards, I am a child of God in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for everyone who gave his or her life to you tonight. I cover them with the blood of Jesus from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. I cover their families with the blood of Jesus. Father, I pray that you will seal them with the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that they will remain in the kingdom forever and ever and ever. And they will shut up a basanda. The name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And if you have prayed that prayer, whether you have rededicated your life, whether you have given your life to the Lord for the first time, can you just send me a message? Hallelujah. Just send me a message via inbox so that I can pray with you. Hallelujah. I want us all to just thank God. Wherever you are, can you just thank God for tonight and say, Father, I thank you for the recharge. When we ask, we are sure that the Lord answers our prayers. So tonight, I believe that there was a recharge. I believe that there was a recharge, that there was an infilling. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and say, Father, I thank you. 
go ahead and just say, Lord, I thank you. For well, some batteries were dead. Some batteries were dead. Some, some cars were parked somewhere because there was no fuel at all. But tonight, I just want you to say, Lord, I thank you for the Holy Spirit. Just go ahead and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for the reviving in my spirit. Thank you for the reviving in my spirit. The revival that has taken place. Kayama Santa Bakoriadi. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Father, we thank you for tonight. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you that you have refreshed us once again. Father, for everyone who is online, I pray that they will remain in your presence, that they will never be snatched away, that the cares of this world, the desires that are pulling them away from you have lost their hold over their life. Father, I cut off every ungodly umbilical cord that have connected them to the world. I cut it off tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And I present everyone online tonight to you, O God. And I pray, Lord God Almighty, that they will remain in your presence at all times. I cover them all with the blood of Jesus. And I pray for divine protection. I pray for divine health. I pray for long life and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We have come to the end of the service. Oh, hallelujah. I just want to thank God for all of you tonight. But before you leave, I, I want to give you a minute. Can you just pray for me? Can you just pray for me tonight as you are online? Just stretch your hands and just pray for me. Pray for my husband. Pray for the children. Pray for women on the threshing floor. And pray for Abundant Life Ministries. Just go ahead and release your prayers. If you can write them out, God bless you. If you can't, just pray in your heart. Just go ahead and pray for me tonight. Whatever you have released for me, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. I appreciate you praying for us. I appreciate you praying for women of the Christian Lord. Praying for abundant life ministries. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. And I want to thank everyone. I want to thank you for joining me tonight. May the Lord bless you. I love you all. May you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much, women of the Christian Lord all the branches may the lord bless you hallelujah thank you once again for coming online and i want to thank specifically for everyone who keeps on sharing who keeps on sharing the links who keeps on sharing the flyers i see you and god sees you thank you for being kingdom minded and and you are not marketing women on the threshing floor but you are making sure that someone hears the word that someone is refreshed may the lord bless you thank you so much for your sacrifice god bless you and see you again next week friday same place same time i love you all god bless you
our lives are yours. Lord, come and heal us. Lord, come and touch us. This place is yours. Our lives are yours. Oh, Lord, come and change our lives. Yes, Lord. 